in this video I'm going to go over where you need to solder on everything for this beta FPV uh, 2S to 4S uh, all-in-one 12 amp um, AIO board. So the pads are actually nice and big on this board, um, but it doesn't have a built-in receiver so you have to solder that on and the camera of course. And the LED pad is up here on the front, which is different from other beta boards that was here in the back on the pins. But uh, let's get started. So first, here's my build. I'm going to be using the uh, F4 all-in-one, of course, 12 amp. And <clears throat> I'm using EX1102 9000 kV motors. And because I'm going to try to run this on 3S batteries um, here, it's a 333 uh, 3S battery. Uh, this board can take 2S to 4S, so it should have no problem on 3S. So, first we'll start by soldering on the receiver. of these pads real quick. Mm, that's really nice. Alright, those ones are super easy. Alright, so now first we're going to put on the receiver, so I've got this right here, signal on the inside, I didn't have any color besides black for the wire, 5 volts in the middle, ground on the outside, and that corresponds to the receiver up here, signal on the far, my far right, this side, signal, 5 volts in the middle, ground on the left and then the LED pad that's not used for the receiver so let's see about how long I need these to be so All right, <coughs> got them all tinned. Ground first. There we go, bam. Ground done, five volts now. Five volts and signal. Perfect. All right. Receiver soldered on. See? Ground. Five volts in the middle and signal on the outside. So let's just test that real quick. Make sure it actually turns on when we plug it in. Boom. All right. 
right. That was super easy. These pads are nice and big. Okay, I've got the receiver soldered on now, as you can see. And what I'd like to point out is that when you're soldering it on, you probably want to angle the wires to the side so they're not blocking this front uh, area where you have to use these little rubber grommets to mount it to the board. So if, if you have your wires uh, going forward right over that hole like I did originally, you're going to have to bend them over or resolder them so that you can get this thing in there. Anyway, let's move on to the camera. So, I've got the HCF7, I believe it's called. Anyway, it's just a typical Whoop camera for an OSD board. And it has a... <clears throat> has smart audio too. So the smart audio wire is the green one. And video out is yellow. And that's probably going to go to video in on the board here, I'm guessing. Because that's typically how it is. And then video in is blue. And that'll come from video out here on the board. And of course, smart audio goes to T1 and ground and five volts, of course, are black and white. So let's solder this up. It's the basic idea. So first, we're going to start go from the outside in. Go with green, which is smart audio to T1. And then a video out, which I will take video in, label on the camera, blue, be next. Actually, I'm going to do video in first, or video out, <coughs> to video in since it's kind of right above it. Alright, now of course 5 volts and ground on the opposite side, do ground first. Ground, not the best soldering job on ground, but it'll work. And five volts. So I've got those soldered up now. They all look pretty good. I 
we'll have to put another <coughs> 5 volts on top of that 5 volt for the LED in a second. But let's